Good evening. New details on a story we broke two weeks ago. Legislative auditors have spent this week at the Orleans Parish Coroner's Office looking over all payroll and financial documents. WDSU IT reporter Travers Mackle live for us at 6 o'clock with the very latest on this story, Travers. Camille, numerous sources tell us that the auditors have been combing over documents for the past two days. And as we first reported last month, former investigator John Gagliano retired. And when he left, he took home a hefty paycheck, more than $130,000. Now we have a better understanding as to why. For cops in New Orleans, John Gagliano was a frequent fixture at murder scenes around the city. The former chief investigator for the coroner's office handled all of the city's homicides. He retired about two weeks ago after more than 40 years on the job. And two days after he left, the new coroner, Dr. Jeffrey Rouse, painted a gloomy financial picture of his office to members of the city council, pointing out how his office may need additional funds to operate this year to make ends meet. One thing that puts Rouse's office in the red, he had to cut a check to John Gagliano for $134,000 on his way out the door. It's considered terminal pay for unused sick and vacation time. Rouse told us he didn't know how the sum was settled upon. It seems like a big number, but again, I'm not an accountant, and so I don't know the exact breakdown of it all. Public records from the city now show that from 2004 through 2014, the 10 year span prior to his retirement, John Gagliano took no sick days and zero vacation days. The city is still working to provide the I-team records that go back longer than the past 10 years, but has not turned them over to us just yet. We should also point out that it's not known how long the auditor will be at the coroner's office. Many of the records there are not kept electronically.